the Deliverance Network. Thank you so much for joining us yet again today. And I'm going to be sharing again today for your discernment another message from our Lord Jesus Christ received this morning, October the 4th, 2023, while I was at adoration. And he said, Precious is your spirit in my sight. You always give everything in service to my plan. Hallowed is our relationship for you have given me your heart without limit. Zealous you are in every moment in order to achieve my purposes. The church is about to hold another synod, which will usher in dramatic change in my churches. The faithful will be forced to accept changes unlike any time unto now. My church is about to dismantle important structures designed to hold fast the tenets of the deposit of the faith. Certain changes are about to break the church in half. Very, very serious word there. Certain changes are about to break the church into half, sorry, he said into, as a result of the imposed declaration. See that you find yourself immersed in the truths of my church as given to my apostles. Radical innovations contrary to my original doctrine will be implemented. Gird yourselves in the true faith and hold fast to every tenet handed down by my apostles. Do not accept radical alteration of my gospel. Stay in alignment with my true faith, children. Be attentive to your prayer practices as my church is torn into two. Go and film this word today. Give my message to the world swiftly. Go, close my message now, your sacred host. And I have to say, I really do not have time to follow anything going on in the world, anything going on with news. I don't watch news. I don't listen to the radio. I don't listen to news. I catch the odd headline, perhaps, when I'm opening email. That's about it, as far as my exposure to what's going on in the world. And though I work in the church, I don't uh, really pay attention to what's going on at large in the church in the world either. And I had no idea. Apparently the Synod is starting or beginning today again, October the 4th. And so I found it very interesting that the Lord, for the first time in the year that he's been speaking to me, passing messages, mentions the Synod. And it happens to be today, the day when they are opening, apparently, Synod again in our Catholic Church. So again, a serious word. I ask you to take it into prayer. I ask you to take it into discernment. Share it with your circles far and wide. But we are always called to listen to our faith and to obey the commandments, to pay attention to the magisterium, the deposit of the faith, our catechism and to not depart from that. So I'm hopeful that we will stick to that as the years go by. I ask you to pray for everyone in your lives to come to Jesus. Pray for me as I pray for all of you. And thank you for joining us at the Deliverance Network. 